Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. We're back for more Ruby. Last episode, we had Adam showing up, which is always great. He got, he got, he is so annoying. He messed up the whole plan just by showing up. Um, but also we have a Mecha, which is pretty cool. Um, it has a giant cannon, which I don't know. She said it was a warning shot, so I mean, she... What I'm not sure exactly what the blast it looked like it might be it, it hit it, but it didn't take it down. But it seemed to have like a bullet. Maybe she maybe it's like I don't know. Um, I was thinking at first maybe it was like almost like an EMP blast kind of a thing, but it's electric. I don't know. I'm assuming she just didn't have the like the power up, even though it looked like a you know powerful blast. Uh, maybe like the voltage somehow wasn't up, so it's like it didn't quite fry the circuits or explode it the 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 plane. So yeah, uh, right now. Uh, Blake is having a standoff with Adam. Hopefully, Yang will show up in time to help. Um, I mean, Blake can hold her own against Adam, but it was also looking pretty rough for her. So hopefully, with Yang, it'll it'll be easier at least a little bit. Problem with that, I'm worried about is obviously the fact that he's the one that took her arm in the first place. I don't know how this is going, and she keeps having sort of a well, it. it at least that's what she thought. So I don't know if it's like, yeah, obviously he, she, <clears throat> if she did see him, she wasn't just saying things at the at the lot, the farm area or the the village where those people were, you know, they fell asleep and then died. Maybe she isn't having, but then she also reacted to it in a way, in, the same, in a way that, I guess, if she, if she wasn't completely over it, she wouldn't have reacted that way. I'm I'm, I'm a little worried. Um. Yeah, let's just hurry up and get into this episode. You're joking, right? You want to fight this thing? We've fought giant monsters before. This is just a tiny old lady. With one very big robot. You little spider roaches thought you could creep your way into Atlas. Well, let's see how your resolve holds out against the might of the Elysian military. Oh Jesus, that's a different gun. <sighs> Ruby, did you shoot that? Yeah, baby. Ah, so be it. Die. Oh whoa. I don't know if we've seen her do that before. That was close. We need to figure out how to stop Cordovan and protect the airship until we do. Then let's give her more targets to focus on. You mean us, don't you? Look at that thing. It's not designed for small enemies. It's probably meant for giant grim that come in from deeper waters. We can turn our size into an advantage. We just have to be smart. Maria, can you keep the ship out of harm's way? Well, they can take my driver's license, but I won't let them take this ship. Oh my god. Very reassuring. I'll be more useful if I go with her. From up high, I can try to spot a weakness. Well, he's not the only one who can grab a bird's eye view. Oh yeah. You needed me on the ground. forgot. <laughs> not exactly. Oh, cr ah, crow it. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, sniper cracked the shield. Awesome. Nora! Watch. And you said it was a deep sea bed. 
force field. Surely you knew Atlas was the father of hard life dust. Or do lesser kingdoms simply lack proper education? That's different looking. Oh, well, that's what that was. She created the ice. Oh, that's just activated shields. I'll let you do both ice and we need to find whatever's generating it. You know, in video games, the weak spots usually on the back of the giant boss. Ruby, this isn't a game. I'm just trying to look out. You are that. You are lower than that. Oh, so cool. What was that? A bird. Until the shield's down, we're gonna have to get up close and personal with this thing. Uh oh. Book it, Crow. <laughs> oh dang. Oh, let's go. She's pissed. It doesn't look bad. Oh, come on, Rin. No, use your semblance. Oh, um, she. Oh well, I guess she can. Hello. What if I hadn't caught you? I knew you would. <laughs> Jesus. Just labeled it. No, no, no. What you gonna do with that your generator man? You get back here with my man. Well. Why? Well, you can't. I couldn't carry you if you did. This is what happens when you think you know better than those rightfully in charge. We gotta do something. Catch the missile or the whatever. Oh no. Don't eat it. Don't you cut. Okay, it's their fight. I was gonna say, when are we getting to them? Can you do any 
anything besides run? He's got a scar. People hurt me long before we met. All sorts of people in all sorts of ways. But no one hurt me quite like you. You oh, didn't Jesus. leave scars. You just left me alone. So, tell me, Blake. How does it feel to be alone? Well, you see... Loser! I was thinking that's what it was. I'm not alone. Yeah! Oh! Uh. No! Bumblebee! <laughs> what an entrance! You. Oh. Yang. Uh. It's okay. Catch your breath for a second. I could hold him off. She's right, Blake. It's okay. We have unfinished business. Jesus. Sucks. That's just cheap. Dang it. alone this is your last chance <laughs> do you really believe that or are you just trying to scare me away so you won't have to die trying to protect her yang don't let me get to you She's not protecting me, Adam. And I'm not protecting her. We're protecting each other. I mean, you're still protecting one. You get the sentiment, though. Uh, I'm not sure about which one. I think this one was definitely more stressful. Um, that mech fight was awesome. Um, how... Uh, Wait, didn't we cut? Oh, we cut after she had thrown the thing. 
the the bullet or missile, whatever. After uh, Calav uh, not Calavera, uh, well, Cordovan before she threw the missile, or after she threw the missile, it cut. We didn't see it make contact or anything. And then it went back to, or then it went to Blake and Adam's fight. We'll talk about the mech fight first. That was awesome. That was freaking uh, seeing Crow uh, like change mid air and then hit, attack the attack the robot. Just I don't know. The, the, something about that was just so awesome. The, I guess the mid air change was just really cool. And just I guess just seeing the team work together again. Just, it's been a little bit since we've seen them fight. Um, I think the last time they actually fought, like having to work together, kind of a fight was the train, the train scene when they were uh, trying to stop a bunch of Grimm and the Griffins. Or the the Griffin Grim, and then the fact that also it was really cool was when Wise conjured up a a, a Lancer, I think is what they're called, right? That's what the the bees are called, is, or not the bees, the hornet looking things. Is that what they're called? Lancers. Rem uh, please let me know if if I'm wrong, and, and let me know what the actual name is if if I am wrong. Um, but you know the conjure she did uh, was awesome, and just like I don't know if she thought about doing. It. I feel like she it would have been definitely helpful. To do that in the beginning, so that you, they could have quick uh, gotten to the the mech quicker, um, but that was still really cool when they showed it the way she got, the when when she had conjured it. Um, and I'm thinking I'm not entirely sure. It might just be this isn't how the, this is going to the uh, Adam Blake fight again. Um, I'm not a hundred. I mean, I know I was spoiled on like their. I think unless this was like a uh, this was by somebody who was not liking Ruby, and they're kind of like joking uh, certain things that didn't actually happen, but they're joking about it. So I don't know if this is an actual spoiler, but uh, mentioned um, that Weiss, not Weiss, um, Blake and Yang get together. So I'm wondering if if they do go with that, and if that's kind of like they, there was also the last episode, kind of when they kind of had a, or at least Yang did, had a kind of a Look like a, sort of like a longing glance at at Blake, um, and also with Blake saying what she did to Yang, you know, you're great, and kind of like stumbling over. But it also kind of just when she kind of said that you're not really stealthy, or she was, she didn't quite, she didn't say it yet because Yang gave her a look. She's like, you finish that sentence and see what happens. Um, I don't know if it was because of that, or she was like kind of, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too into it just because of the fact that I'm thinking that was, that I think that was a, a spoiler that they do get together. I think it'd be a great. I think that's a that's a great pairing. I'm wondering if they go through with that. I think they do kind of work off each other really well, especially you know with with the fact that they both kind of need support from each other in a way. Like, I mean, they're both they they can both handle themselves, but it's just like the their there's their insecurities they kind of mesh with each other. I would like it if they put them uh, together. I think they do make a great couple. They they they're both they kind of bounce off each other rather, rather well and I do think that was like one of their <laughs> kind of one of fans going crazy shipping them kind of a thing that's that was the I think one of the main pairings of the girls <laughs> I kind of thought it was funny when the, when uh, Nora was when the she went down and, she was, and Nora was shooting at the mecha whenever Ren was on on the mech uh, and Nora was shouting get what'd she say get back here with my man after she said, "Get yeah," I don't, I don't think she's actually like straight up said it. Like really, kind of. I mean, they we know that they've been leading to them being a couple. Um, but you've never actually kind of had a confirmation, really. Uh, that's I think that's as much of a confirmation as we've as we've had. I don't know if they're actually together right now, like together together, or. That was just kind of like a slip of the tongue kind of a thing, but I just thought that was funny. She's she is crazy. <laughs> I love Nora so much. His face is messed up. I thought it was gonna be like a scar, but he's got a freaking brand on his face. I don't know if I've seen that yet. I don't think I have. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying, I don't think we've seen it. I don't like in the Adam Short. I can't. Remember, I've seen the Adam Short, but I can't remember what. It looks like. like I can't remember if they showed the, the like him getting that scar. Uh, man, I messed him. His, his like that looks pretty bad. Like his his, his eyes all messed up too. Like uh, like the looks like the blood vessels in all of it popped. 
And then, and then during, with him, that sucks, man. His semblance is... I was wondering if it has to do with the sword, but that just feels... That's strange. Like, does he have to have that specific sword? Or can he just... Any weapon he wields, he can absorb it into it. Um, so, like, that... I don't know. It's just, that would seem strange if it was just, like, a specific sword. Because then he wouldn't... I'm assuming it has to do with any weapon that he has. But it, it only... can. I don't know. Does he take it into the sword, or is it like the sword is like the conduit? He takes it and it kind of like in him as well, like it it absorbs it, but then it also kind of um, passes it onto him as well. I mean, you know, he he lets it out with the sword, but I'm wondering, if, I don't know. But he freaking damaged Yang's arm. I'm I'm hoping it doesn't have too many uh, adverse effects um, before it gets repaired. God, I'm just hoping that we would at least finish their fight. Now I have to wait uh, till next episode, till next week. Yeah. Didn't write a whole lot. There's a lot of fighting between uh, for both the, the team and with uh, Blake and Yang. And I really, I liked uh, Blake's Blake's choreography, choreography. For a split second, I thought he did stab her. I was like, no way. Maybe I think she used her semblance. Um, but she's really weak right now. You know, luckily, Yang showed up. That was a really cool entrance. But bellby has gone now, man. We don't have the bike, man. How's she gonna? <sighs> Maybe they can get it back at once they uh, defeat Adam. Hopefully, I don't know if it's even working because I mean the engine would be flooded. I would think unless it doesn't work the same way as it does in real world. And then the uh, I don't know how how like it, it cut from uh, before we saw the the missile or whatever uh, con make contact or miss Calavera and 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 Oscar. Uh, worried about I, I don't know. I mean, we have to end the fight next episode, right? I mean, then again, we only have two episodes left, I think, so maybe not. And then it ends with them, like, before we get to Atlas. I don't know how it's going to end. But yeah, guys, that's it for this week's episode of Ruby. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go and click the button right next to me. If you want to stick around for the next episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when our videos go out, go and click the bell icon down below. Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you next week.